Welcome to the Encounters Podcast, brought to you by Mercy Culture Worship. My name is Jasmine Wheeler, and I'm so glad you're here and ready to encounter God with us. Our vision is to take people from corporate encounters with God to daily personal encounters with God. So we're inviting you into our corporate encounter, hoping that it leads you deeper into your daily personal encounter. So we say, Holy Spirit, have your way. We don't make room for you in our car, in our room, wherever it is that we are right now. We don't make room for you. We give you the entire room. So speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. We're going to begin to worship the Lord this morning if you make your way up. Just begin to enthrone the Lord this morning. Can you just lift your hands with us? Jesus, we've come to see you. We've come to see you, Holy Spirit. This is all for you today, Lord. This is all for you. This is all for you. This is all for you. Come on, just tell him you can have the room. You can have the room this morning. You're the one thing we're here for, Lord. You're the one thing we're here for. It's just you. It's just you. It's just you. It's just you. together open the eyes open the eyes of my heart Lord open the eyes of my heart Lord I want to see you I want to see you see you high
in the room this morning And he sits upon our praises This is all for you We've come to see the King of Kings in his likeness He's in the room and enthroned on our praises We've come to see the King of Kings in his likeness Come to see the King of Kings in His likeness. He's in the room and enthroned on our praises. We've come to see the King of Kings. Come on, He's our one goal this morning. Hey! We've come to see the King of Kings in His likeness. He's in the room and enthroned on our praises. We've come to see the King of Kings in His likeness. We've come to see you. We've come to see the King of Kings.
never gonna let me down Cause you're never gonna let You're never gonna let me down No, 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 no You're never gonna let You're never gonna let me down Hey, we believe it You're never gonna let You never Come on, let me hear you sing it out never gonna let
Circumstance doesn't dictate your goodness. Lord, I thank you, my season doesn't dictate your goodness. Even in the valley of the shadow, your rod and staff, they comfort me. I'm so thankful for your goodness. Can you just put Thanksgiving on your lips this morning? Come on, every season he's brought you through, every valley he's walked you in. Sing it like you believe it. Sing it like you've seen his goodness. We sing it like we've seen your goodness. There it is. Let faith arise in the room right now. Good. Mm-hmm. 
several moments throughout the week where just going on about my normal life where I realized there was fear harassing me. One night in particular, I had a dream, a tormenting dream in the middle of the night and I woke up and it was almost like I could feel fear in the room. I got up and went to go feed my baby and I sat down with my baby in his room and I was like, I have a decision to make right now. Am I going to entertain fear or am I going to speak back to it? Am I going to talk to it? And I just want to make you aware of something. In this hour and culture, in this hour in America, the spirit of fear is knocking at your door. I don't know if you've noticed it. I don't know if you've felt it. But fear is knocking at your door. And you can't afford to entertain it. I just I want to take a moment even right now and just specifically lean in with moms. As a new mom, I'm learning this weird space of fear with my child where like I almost permission the fear and give it a category and say it's okay for it to live because I'm a new mom and it's okay to be afraid for my child I've had to get honest this week that there are places in my life where I'm, I'm giving it permission to live and I want to plead with you this morning that you can't afford to let fear live in your life in any area of your life the Bible says this Psalm 27, 1, it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In Psalm 23, we were singing it this morning. It says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I want to let you know this morning, Mercy Culture, you can't afford to entertain fear. Not only can you not afford it, but you have no reason to. Because you have a God that's greater. You have a God that's mightier. You have a God that's more powerful than anything the enemy can bring before you this morning. So with every hand lifted, I just want to remind you guys of an old tool that maybe you've used in past seasons to deal with fear. Maybe you've sang this song before in the past to deal with fear. But I want to give you an opportunity this morning to speak to the spirit of fear that's trying to knock on your door in this season. I want you to just with everything in you to begin to sing out, fear go.
on, one more time, every hand lifted. Jesus, we honor you in this place. Mm. Come on, when you get in the presence of God, where is your fear? Ah. When you're standing in the presence of God, where is the anxiety? Just standing in the presence of one who's great. Can you find it? In the presence of the Lord, can you find the fear in his glory? Ah, you can't find the fear in the presence of God. You can't find the anxiety in the presence of God. Jesus, we worship you. We adore you in this place. We honor you, Jesus. Come on, take a moment just to honor Jesus. Jesus, we honor you. We honor you. We adore you. The matchless King, the matchless name of Jesus. I debated if I was supposed to share this or not, but I just keep feeling the prompting of the Holy Spirit. There's a, um, this story in the Bible of Esther and Mordecai standing before the king, and it says that there is this evil, wicked man named Haman that began to set up gallows for Mordecai to be killed in, mad about what God was doing through Mordecai and Esther. And the Bible says that the, the gallows that Haman set up for Mordecai, that at the end of the story, Haman ended up getting hung up in the gallows that he set up for Mordecai. And I just feel like I'm supposed to encourage you, some of you this morning, you've been battling fear. I'm trying to lead you this morning and give you spiritual weapons to, to say no to fear, to bind it up in your life. Because here's what the enemy knows. He knows that when you overcome fear, you will lead others out of fear. And so what ends up happening is you, you don't get hung up in the gallows, but the spirit of fear actually gets exposed in other people's lives. Haman gets hung up in the gallows that were hung for you. And so just one more time, lift your hands. Jesus, we thank you for your presence in this room right now. I see the enemies of God being hung up in the gallows that they hung for you. I see the enemies of God being hung up in the gallows that they hung for you. I see the enemies of God being hung up in the gallows that they hung for you. So fear go, Holy Spirit come, burn like a fire, blow like the wind, fear go. Holy Spirit, come, burn like a fire. Come on, you sing. Sing fear, go. Come on, talk to it. This isn't a hosting moment. Authentically sing it. Come on. Fear, go. Holy Spirit, come. Come on. Come on, one more time. This isn't a hosting moment. Sing a fear, go. Fear, go. Come on. Holy Spirit, come. Come on. like a fire.
now. Come on, lift your hands. Jesus, we thank you for your presence. Woo! We thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you that we can't find our fear when we're in you. Mm. Holy Spirit, we honor you in this room. Come do what only you can do this morning. Come get the glory that's deserving of you in this room this morning. We want everything that you paid for, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thanks for worshiping with us today. If you want to encounter God with us again next week, be sure to hit the subscribe button in the channel to stay in the know. Let's pray the benediction together. Lord, teach us your ways that we may know you and find your favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.